Ta-da! Today's video is a little bit special because I'm gonna to be touring my own tiny house right here behind me. It's been over a year in the making. If you've been following along on the second channel, I've given you a couple updates throughout the year of uh, the whole remodel process and just everything all together. But I think it's finally time and finished to show you guys the completed uh, project. 95% complete, I guess. But it, it's a tiny house on wheels. We bought it, it was just a couple miles down the road. And we brought it here, took it off the wheels and planted it on a property. Did a bunch of remodeling to it. We are located in Hillsboro, Ohio, just a couple miles down the road from Rocky Fork Lake, which is this massive lake that you can do just a bunch of cool things on. And we're on six acres of property. There's even a pond on our property that's probably about an acre in size. And the tiny house sits just on one side and it kind of overlooks the entire property, including the pond, which is really cool. So I think we've got a little special piece of land here and hopefully a special tiny house. If you guys would come stay here, you can book the place down in the link in the description below, opening in February, I believe. So get some dates, come hang out at the tiny house. It is a tiny house on wheels, 32 feet long by eight foot wide. It's not on wheels anymore. We painted it black, it was blue. We've added a couple windows. The entire interior is totally different. When we get inside, I'll show you some before and afters. And uh, we built this uh, deck all the way around it. Now there's multiple levels to the deck and it kind of looks like it, it just is what it is and when you walk down here this main area has a couple chairs a fire pit out here to overlook the property and we even added some uh, a small dining chair over there and some planter boxes down here at the bottom as well the planter boxes are going to have tulips pop up here soon yes they will have tulips so if you come stay here in the spring you might see them i thought i forget what color they are I think they're going to be stripes. Some sort of striped tulips down there, which would be cool. And I'm sure in the summer we'll plant some more uh, stuff. It looks like they have nothing in them right now. Down by the pond, there's also a small deck space. There's a couple of rocking chairs, a gas fire pit down there. We're not down there right now because it is way, way too cold. We picked one of the coldest days of the year to shoot this video. It'll look a lot better in the summer, I am sure, but that is a fun area to go and enjoy as well. Now, before all of this was here, there was another home here. I'll show you some before footage now. It was pure trashed and it took a lot of work to uh, get it back up to where it was and still needs some work. We're gonna plant some more grass in the summer. And we added um, just a stone walk path over here. My favorite one is this one. It looks like the shape of Ohio, which is where we're at. And we've got new gravel, freshen it up. And yeah, we did the, the best we could for two people that have no idea what they're doing. We like to call ourselves professional homeowners now because we've done, done a lot of stuff to the place. Anyway, let's head inside and check that out. And welcome to the inside of our tiny house. This remodel job was really extensive. Everything in here is basically brand new except the walls and the ceiling. It's 32 feet long by eight foot wide. Very typical for a tiny house, but ours is a little special. It's taller than most at 14 feet high and it's all open space. There's lots of windows everywhere. You got windows bordering all along the top and on the edges, lots of good natural light. One goal for this is we really wanted to make it cozy and I think we nailed it pretty nicely and it's very spacious. I, I really like what we did inside of here. But anyway, let's get along with the tour space. This first section is the living room. I love the living room because I feel like it's actually functional. Most tiny homes we've visited, you don't have a full-size couch, you don't have much seating, but here you can really lay down and lounge in this chair. So yes. I love it. I love our tiny. Yes, you can fully lay down on our couch and watch the TV. It is really comfortable. That is one of the main goals for the living room space is to make it comfortable. And also you got an entire seat right here. So you could seat up to four guests ultimately here. Very functional living room space and there's lots of room to just walk around. The TV is at a great watching neck height normally. Some people put it really high like above their mantle or fireplace and it looks neck inducing pain. But this one, right at eye level, you got the window right here. One of my favorite things, binoculars right here at the window. Bird watch all day. There was a woodpecker here the other day. Or deer, there's deer, a lot of deer here going to the pond. You get good views of our pond from up here. So lots of animals go to that. But 
which is just a comfortable space. This window right here is brand new. During the remodel, here's the before, there was a sliding door. And that really made this living room space not as functional as it could be because you couldn't put a couch here. So we took that down and it had the Amish build us a window and we installed it with good natural lighting here. You can see the couch uh, is a perfect, perfect tight fit. Thank the Lord, it couldn't have went any better than that. Another really awesome part, this is Levi's idea, was to include a full length mirror. Yes. It's hard to get one of those. Much needed. A lot of places don't have full length mirrors. And there's also games loaded in this basket for you to enjoy. It fits into this tiny box. It looks like a tiny NES system. If you remember those, check out these remotes. Power, ta-da! Now we can select any game, Mario. One player or two player? One player. Two player. Oh. <laughs> How do I get up on that thing? You hold it longer. You killed me. These little munchkins are coming after me. Blue guy's gonna get me. Go up. I keep telling this loser to go up. He don't listen. Do I win when I get all the dots? I could spend hours playing it here, so. I hope you guys enjoy that. Next is like the kitchen and dining space. It was kind of challenging to figure out how and to include a comfortable dining space with comfortable seating, with tiny houses. A lot of times it's like the little wood sticking out of the wall and you have no room to put anything. We got a full table here, big enough for two people to comfortably sit at and eat their meal, have a romantic time. First meal at the tiny house. Mm-hmm, oven worked great. <laughs> it's just chicken nuggets. How romantic. Mm -hmm. We need to light our candle. Yeah, we do. And our light. Turn on our lamp. <laughs> yeah, what gives? What gives? The mixture of the dark wood with all of everything in here, I think is great. But then we have the kitchen space. We did keep the original cabinets. We painted them gold knobs right here to match our gold sink. I love this thing. I've never seen somebody use a gold sink with, I think this kind of looks like an antique you know, faucet head. I, I like it a lot. In the window right here, good views of the pond. Coffee station, of course. Mugs. We provide coffee creamer for you. I know how important that is. I love it whenever Airbnbs do that for me. Flavored ones, can't go wrong. And over here, we have a stove, a kettle. You know, we had to have this for Kettle and Crumb. That's our business name, so we got the kettle here. More floating shelves with all of your dishes and everything. Flip the camera around, now you can see everything else. And yeah, that's our kitchen space. And if you're wondering, our cabinet paint color is Intrigue by Benjamin Moore, and we love it. Yes, and it also, you know, you got all of your stuff down in these cabinets, cooking everything you need. If you continue along, this part is leads up to the loft. Hand-built ladder, I like it a lot because I included handles while you're climbing up it and it blends in, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Before the stair set they had, it like went all the way out to the living room space and it was large, it took up a lot of space. So we shrunk that. Can't miss the small details. Right behind the ladder, we had a tiny space. So we put some coat hangers right behind it and you can hang your jackets and stuff back there. You can even put your luggage under the ladder if you need to. We built this little cubby right here for our fridge. It fits like perfectly. I mean, of course we built it that way, but we got the full size fridge here. That was pretty important for us. And then the cubby for the microwave above. It matches, it fits perfectly. It was so pleasing to put this together. And then we can continue along to the bathroom. And then this space is the bathroom. Very spacious for a tiny house underneath the loft. The before of this was much, much different. There was a washer and dryer here. The toilet was in a different spot. Uh, there wasn't a tiled shower or a closet space. Huge transformation in here. The toilet here on the left, huge banner. This is one of my favorite things. Uh, we got it from Instagram, somebody on Instagram. I like that a lot, it fits great. Vanity with the mirror, with the lights. Small baby window right here behind me. Little vintage uh, spot for your towels. Some hooks for your towels right here. And then the grand part is the tiled shower. This part took a while, my first major tiling job. There was no window in here either. We included this tiny window so when you're inside, you get good views of nature. It's like perfect head height. <laughs> that was a challenge to put in. 
You got your soaps right here dispensed perfectly. The glass wall, the gold uh, accents in here, and the tiling. The tiling's pretty neutral. I like it a lot. And the color in here is great. And this is the bathroom space. And then the closet right here, you got your towels, uh, makeup towels, and even a couple baskets, you know, right there is kind of the storage unit where we store some cleaning supplies, but it's not that bad. So bathroom's pretty spacious and functional. The color on the walls in here is called Flower Jar and it's by the Magnolia Home line. Yes, another great, great pick. Last spot in here is the loft, which is up this ladder. If we head up here, pretty easy to climb with the handles. You got a little platform right here. And then we built this really interesting design. I don't even know what to call it, but it separates the bedroom from falling off into the kitchen space. But we kept it open so it feels more open and spacious in here. And we included these little lights just for detail. And I think it looks really good. That's probably one of my favorite parts in this tiny house. Now we're up here in the loft. Up here is a queen size bed. It is super comfortable in my opinion. We added a memory foam topper to it. The sheets are cozy, they're the green, they're from Quince, European linen, plenty of pillows back there. And I really like how we have the tall ceilings because this loft feels really open. My head isn't even close to the ceiling over here. Now if you're sleeping over here, it's a little bit more cozy with the ceiling, but overall there's plenty of space to do things. Even you can walk around over here if you must. We had enough room for a small dresser. I had to cut the legs off to make it match the uh, height of the bed, but you got a fan right here. This fan is my favorite. I've had one for like four years and it still works great. So that's there. We got a light and there's even windows up here as well. If uh, it gets too hot or stuffy for some reason, or if you just want to sleep with the breeze going through, uh, you can open these up super easily. That one over there opens up as well. If not, just close them up really easily as well. Done. There's also a TV up here. It doesn't work uh, because we don't have internet, but if you wanted to bring that gaming console up here and play the games in bed, you totally can. And of course, you can see through those wood slats and down into the living room. This is just an open, cozy uh, bed space. You're probably wondering what else is there to do in Hillsboro, Ohio, Southern Ohio. Well, we're also really close to the Amish community. You can go to the Amish Bakery, check out all the things they're doing around there. Of course, you got Rocky Fork Lake, I already mentioned that. You can bring your boat and park it here if you need to as well, if you're bringing a boat. And we're also in this area called Ark of Appalachia. Now that is just a small organization that has a bunch, that maintains a bunch of trails in the area. So there's like 12 trails total. One of them is like a mile down the road and you can go and trail, or walk along the creek and it's just fun. There's lots of trails. Hillsborough has some pretty good restaurants now too, including the best donuts. Yes, White's Bakery has good donuts. Mimi's uh, Kitchen has good cheesecake downtown in Hillsboro, or the porch. That's a really fun area to uh, eat at as well. So I'd suggest those three places if you're in Hillsboro. So that's the tour of our tiny house, a whole year in the making from start to finish. It's been a pretty awesome journey. It took a lot longer than what I thought it would. So. It's fun to say that if you want to book this place, you can with the link down in the description below if you want to come here to Southern Ohio, Rocky Fork Lake region. Also, uh, a lot of the stuff that we bought in here, if you're curious where we got something, it's going to be linked down in the description, like the coffee maker or the mugs or something like that. And if there's any other questions you have about the place since, you know, we did it all, leave them down below. We'll try our best to answer them. Thank you for the YouTube journey. That's why, you know, I decided to do this after staying at almost 200 Airbnbs myself. I thought it's time to get one in the game and we did a tiny house. So thank you guys. And maybe I'll see you at my tiny house.